Yo. What's good? I'm back. It's day 186. You guys, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I, I just, you ever wake up and you're just like, what the fuck am I doing? With my life, with my day, just, I don't know, contemplating life, honestly. Maybe I'm just tired. I do look rough. I am tired. It's 7.45 right now. Because, like, holy shit, I, it's like 7.45. I was waking up 6 a.m., 6 a.m., 6 a.m., easy. And now it's like I just lost all my momentum. But um, I don't know. Let me know how you guys fucking do a reset. Or, like, when I have a, a moment like this, like, I feel like I need to do some drastic change. That's when I always do some drastic change when I, like, fucking delete, like, social medias or, like, I don't even know. Just, uh, fucking spend a shit ton of money. Like, I, I just make a huge drastic change or move or, like, go on a trip. Or, I, I don't know. I just always like to do a drastic change. <laughs> Maybe that's, I don't know, people don't like it. People around me don't like it because... I don't know, sometimes it's cool. Sometimes it doesn't end up good when I do these changes, but I don't I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Also, it is the end of the month, so I'm super fucking stressed out. Like work wise, I'm just dialed in and grinding because I gotta make money, right? So big check coming. So I'm hyped up. I booked my flight for Austin. So I'm going to Austin at the end of the month and then I'm going to Michigan the beginning of next month. Wait, not next month, but like September. So, yeah. Chest day today, though. Regardless, I don't give a fuck about the work. Like, I'll show up w late to work today. Um, even though I work on my computer, so I can't really show up late. But I'm going to hit a good-ass chest workout today. I'm dialed back in on Monday. Anna's leaving. No girlfriend in town. So, like, I don't have... I mean, really anything to do other than make YouTube videos, work out, and make money. Like, that's my, that's my shit. So, back to dialed in, back to whatever the winter. The winter was ass. I won't lie to you guys. The winter was ass. It was, it was so depressing. You can go watch my videos. I look depressed. I was just, all I was talking about is summer. So, anyways. I'm in chest today. Heavy dumbbell incline press. Um, I got a bunch of comments about what I do for work. I do sales, so I don't trade for people who think I trade. I work for a company that has a algorithm, like a software that trades for you and I sell it and I get a commission off of it. So pretty good gig. I can work from wherever, whenever I'm actually the top setter in the company. So I'm about to generate a fucking million dollars for the company. So that's pretty dope as well. But Regardless, I'm, this video isn't about like talking about work and stuff. I'll make other videos. Maybe I sh somebody said I should do a Q and A. Maybe I'll do a Q and A. Throw throw questions you have for me um, in the comments below. But you guys know I love chest day. I love arm day, and I hate leg day. So we're skipping leg day again. We're skipping shoulder day. I don't know why I'm skipping shoulder day. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do chest and shoulders. We're gonna fucking make it a long workout. I'm gonna do chest and shoulders just because my shoulders need some work. And uh, I gotta I gotta splash some cold water in my face or get kicked in the side of the head with a fucking roundhouse hook or I don't even know. Guys, I'm not afraid to admit it. I have a caffeine addiction, <sighs> and it's not a problem that much, to be honest. <sighs> it's not terrible, and it does affect my sleep sometimes, but <sighs> it's just so good, and it's just so beneficial. One, it helps you lose fat. Two, it wakes you up and gives you so much energy. Three, it curbs your appetite so you don't have to eat as much. It's like... So many benefits in just this little thing, caffeine. Super cheap. In a pre-workout, in an energy drink. Like, you can get it really anywhere. And it's not that, there's not like negative side of health effects. Unless you're having a shit ton, which some days I do, and that's the days that I regret. So, 
Um, yeah, we're doing whatever this thing is. I don't know. This is the one that makes me want to itch my skin off. And I love it. So, <laughs> chest day with the, the itchy skin. Oh, love it. Anyways. I'm feeling, I, another reason that I'm very happy is because I have avocado. I, every time I go to the store, I forget to get an avocado. And Anna brought me one last night, so I was like, shit, avocado. I'm gonna have avocado and eggs tomorrow. Also, I need a haircut. So, what I wanted to do was, what's that guy's name? I forget his name. But, it's like a sick, I don't know, I used to have one, but it wasn't like, a, they didn't do it right. Like, I went to this place. Okay, so, for sports, I don't know if anybody did this in high school. Fucking shaved your head for state and bleached it. I didn't bleach it, but I shaved my head. And so I literally looked like a Q-tip and I went into this haircut place. It was like for black people. So like they, they gave you a fade and everything. And so I thought like, they're gonna line me up. They fucking lined me up. They gave me the fade and shit, but I don't have very thick hair, first of all. So it's hard to give me a fade, like a good fade. And uh, second of all, they lined up the fucking front of, like you ever see like those, what is it called? Like an Edgar or some shit? They fucking lined up. He started cutting the front like and gave me the fucking box cut on the front of my face. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> this is about to be crazy. I actually got nervous. Like I was in the chair. I was like, uh, do I tell him to stop? He's already fucking started cutting. I was like, oh, damn it. So <laughs> yeah, there's some crazy pictures of what I look like. I'm not getting that again, but I want it like buzzed and then like faded on the side, but not like super buzz, like maybe like that long at the front, I don't know, on the top. We'll see what I do. But I gotta look like a bum first before I can uh, do that crazy transformation. Oh, also, yesterday I bought, um, let me just pull this up. I bought some, I gotta fucking put this back there. I bought some hair, uh, Gross shit. So we're gonna do a hair transformation thing. Not even that I have bad hair. Like my hairline is pretty freaking good. I don't really grow facial hair. It's mainly for facial hair. So derma roller, like a needle, like a pen needle thing, whatever. And then I also got like cologne and then some like hair shit you put on. But it's supposed to help grow like a more full, cause I don't like how it's just fucking patchy and shit. I, like, my dad has a full beard. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm 19, but regardless. Let's taste this pre-workout. Mmm. A triple watermelon. Let's get it. Whew. I went to the dentist yesterday. Huge letdown. My normal dentist wasn't there. I got some ugly-ass dentist. And she did... She didn't do like a terrible job. Like, I don't know. I've never had a like, other dentist, but my other, I guess my other dentist just does a really good job and she's pretty good looking. So it was pretty disappointing when I went and I also got cheat. They had strawberry cheesecake fucking toothpaste they put on me. I was like, holy shit. I didn't even taste it, but anyways, I'm going to head down there now. Stop contemplating shit. Main thing. Me stretching in the morning, 15 minutes at night, 15, or 15 minutes in the morning, um, 15 minutes at night, <clears throat> and then uh, reading. So getting around, I, I read for like 20 minutes last night. This is a short book, The Alchemist, but I haven't read it before. It's a classic, so I thought I'd just read it just for fun, just to warm up for when I get back into my book grind. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now, chest day. Shoulders as well. Push day, I guess. I've never done a push day in a while. Like years. Let's fucking do it. All right. The bench is uh, a little bit inclined. I, I don't like a full incline just because my shoulders. But <sighs> going 75s. 
Let's go for it. As many reps as possible. That was perfect. Maybe I should have warmed up more, but that was, pretty, that was really good. Oh. All right, let's go. That was good. I don't know how many that was. All right, we're going down. Better, better four more reps. Whew, that was good. Fuck. Oh. All right. I think I gotta not go as heavy with this movement and go a more form focused. Like a fly.
fuck this. My fucking shoulder. All right, I'm gonna do some normal. All right, I'm gonna call it. Let's see what we got going on. No chat, no shoulders, I mean, we're done. Yo, got done with that workout. And now it's time. Wait, we gotta put on, uh, gotta put on the spectacles so that we can see the definition, all right? As always, It was a good workout. It was a good workout. 75s moved uh, quite a bit easier than they used to. Um, I don't even know if I could move them before, but I could move them, but just not for like a solid eight. It still isn't great. Like I can't, I'm not super strong still, but it's better than I used to be for sure. Especially in the morning. Like the other day when I lifted in the afternoon, I think my best was like, I did 225 for one. And then when I did it in the afternoon and I lifted like at probably like 3, 4 p.m., I did it for fucking seven. Or no, I did it for six. So, yeah, I guess that's kind of the difference. You're a lot stronger later in the day. My body's waking up. But I love, I love uh, working out fasted in the morning. It's just, I don't know, it's like primal. Puts you in a primal state. And, uh, yeah. You guys can kind of see my veins. Look at that shit. Let me just flex real quick. It's pretty good. Hold well, on. You guys know I never lie. I'm the realist. Even when it doesn't need to be said, or maybe should be said, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna speak the truth. So that's one thing I've actually been working on. Cause it's fucking hard to, I don't know, you just gotta, I, I feel like you just gotta drop things, say it how it is, not care about people's feelings. In certain cases, yeah, you, you for sure do, but 90% of the time, just say it. Because nobody, like 90% of the world won't say it. So, I don't know what I'm talking about, actually. Maybe I have fucking, I don't know if they dropped the weight on my head or some shit. But, 
that's my thing, talking about random shit all the time. So I'm gonna have four eggs and what else am I? Oh shit, my freezer was open that whole time. Damn. Damn. Everything's frosted now. Look at that. Well, condensation. Damn it. That sucks. Anyways, I got a little bit of ground beef in here. Maybe that's nasty. I just, that was from last night, so it's not that nasty. But um, I got some eggs down there, so I'll have four of those eggs. Have a thing of milk. I got a ribeye sitting right there. So good old grass fed ribeye. And then this is it the avocado. Boom. Ripe as can be. So I'm excited. I'm going to head to work once I eat this shit up. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Good day. I'm going to have an amazing day. This one song I've been jamming out to lately. Um, what's it called? It's called, I'll just play it really quick. If you guys want to hear it. Oh, damn it. I have this thing on my phone where I like, when I open up apps, like I don't want to be on, it makes me wait 10 seconds. It says, T take a deep breath. And then it tells me how many times I've opened it last usage. Like, so it's kind of a cool app. If you want to get it, what is it called? I forget what it's called, but it's called like once something one time. Or I don't know what it's called. But the song I was talking about is This Feeling by My Lane. It's, it's funk or hard sell. I don't know what it is. It's funk. It says hunt, hashtag funk. I'm going to add this to a YouTube video. Or like a edit. That's what I jam out to. So, I don't know, maybe I'll make some, ah, I want Ethan to make, cause fuck, I don't like the short term, vi like the short uh, form videos. Maybe I gotta get into it, and I, maybe I'll start liking it, because it is cool when you have a sick edit that's short form, but I was thinking maybe I should get Ethan to do some reels for me, like make some reels so I can post them on Instagram, post them as shorts, stuff like that. Cause he has a couple reels that are blown up. Like I think he has like a couple hundred K on one of his reels. Um, so just like workout reels and like transformation, but I obviously want to look like a sick cunt before then. Like I want to have like crazy like abs or like veins popping out and be like actually big. Um, so maybe in like a month or so when I'm like actually big and I've got a little bit more muscle on me, like my arms are big, they're popping and I look a lot better. Then yeah, maybe I'll start going hardcore on the reels and stuff. Um, yeah, I just want to be 200 pounds lean. That's all I want. So I'm going to get there eventually, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, what was I going to say? But yeah, that in a video, sick at it. So maybe in one of these videos coming up when I do like a work workout montage or something, um, that'll be in one of the videos. Cause that's, or maybe I thought that might be like my intro. Like I make an intro. Cause I was thinking about making an intro for these videos. I don't know how good intros are. They're kind of Eh, but like I have some ideas in my head. I have so many things that I want to do that I just haven't really had the absolute like time to do. I've just been working or doing some bullshit. And that's why I'm saying like, I'm not dialed in. Like I have this video, the Lizzo video that was for a thousand subscribers. I'm at like 15 fucking hundred right now, almost 1600. So I haven't even edited it, like finished editing yet to post it, let alone get a thumbnail. So I got to get that done as well. I want, I have like a good idea for some merch that I want. Like, I don't, I don't want like to be like selling merch and stuff like that. Like, well, maybe I do in the future. Like that would be ideal, but like more for myself so I can wear something cool that I like because you guys see, I wear the TMQ sweatshirts every day and shirts all the time. Um, and that's just because I wanted like something plain that I could just wear and it was like nice clothing and it didn't have like some, I don't know. I just like wearing them. So I just wanted plain sweatshirts, like neutral color sweatshirts that I could just chill out and wear. And that's the TMQ. So I have some ideas for what I want to do. I'm not going to say it because I don't want people to steal my idea, but just, just say, uh, it's coming soon. So within a month or so, I'm going to be in a better spot doing all my shit on my grind. Cause I just want to create the standard of like, 
doing better. So I'm more dialed in with my other stuff because the work stuff, I want to get the fuck out of that. Like I want to be able to go to Thailand, make just as much money, make 10K a month and be chilling, but not have to be working on my laptop every single day, make calling retards all day. You know what I mean? So not saying that's like my actual job. Like I talk to a lot of sophisticated people and I have a good time doing it and I learn a lot, but I want to learn. I want to have my own shit, right? I want to have my own shit. It's not scalable like that. I can make, like I could be a closer, like close the deals, make like 20, 30 grand a month. Like some of those guys, one, one guy made 50 grand in a month. So I could go do that. It's a sophisticated sell. So I don't look like I, uh, I don't know, I'm just a 19 year old and people with millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars is who we're talking to. So like investors and in people. So not, not necessarily going to trust a 19 year old kid, which that is a misconception I have to get out of my head because I'm literally the top sales rep on the phone. I just don't speak face to face. So um, maybe eventually that's my goal is to get into that position. If I can't get that position or it's just like, I mean, obviously these guys that are working there are so high level that I wouldn't be upset if I couldn't get the position, but then I'm going to leave and they'd be losing their best guy. So I don't know. I'm not like an ultimatum guy, but I just want to do what's best for me. Right. So, um, if that's leaving in a couple months here or whatever to do, go do my own thing, I'm okay with doing that because I think that will get me out of my comfort zone. Cause when I'm out of my comfort zone, that's when I grow. That's when you grow. That's when everybody, like you don't grow like being in a comfort zone. Maybe you could maybe a little bit, but not like actual, like leaps and bounds strides of growth. Right. So just my thought process, I might have to, it's just like one of those things where it's like, shit, I'm going to cut out making good, solid, consistent money, like minimum, like I could do barely bare minimum fucking work and make six K a month. Like that's more than most people would like do after, I don't know, five, four years of college and they get a job and like 10 years down the road, like that's above the mean salary. And I'm doing like double that some months. So, um, it's kind of going to be kind of weird to like throw that away for like making YouTube videos where I'm not making a single dollar or a single cent or like, I don't even know fucking making clothing brands. So I, I have no idea. Like it's something I'm completely new to, but I've gained the knowledge of sales and business and looked at all this stuff. So shit, it's more scalable. I can't scale up. Like I could get to like my best month, 17 grand. I could get maybe, maybe absolutely to 20 if something happened crazy, but realistically, is it going to happen? And, I, and like, is that where I want to be? No, I want to be to fucking 30, 50, a hundred grand a month. So I don't know what I'm talking about the business. I'm talking about the business side on the fitness side, but I like a mesh. So you guys just got some value dropped of what's to come in these next couple months. <sighs> now let's work. Guys, if you want to know the real reason why you're fucking small, you don't have a girlfriend, you're broke, it's because you're not eating four eggs. So I'm sounding like, I'm talking like that's a lot of eggs. Um, Ideally six eggs a day, but I just don't have that many eggs. So four eggs, an avocado, and a jug of fair life. That's how you get rich, handsome, and uh, huge. So I'm on my way there. But this is the uh, best meal ever. I don't know about ever. I would say that... Um, a ribeye, or a, uh, I guess a New York strip is better. I'm out of New York strip as well. I'm gonna have to go back to the butcher. I spent $800 on meat. I guess it was two months ago, so it has lasted me a long time, but eight fucking hundred dollars. It's good meat, but I didn't get the cuts I wanted. Look at this. I hope you can hear me. These are all minute steaks. Okay, so these are minute steaks. These are all, uh, what are they called? 
cube, cube steaks. So it's just basically tenderized fucking like round steak or some something retarded. Like, I, what what do I want that for? I literally paid eight hundred dollars so I could get premium cuts like ribeyes, um, t bones, porterhouse, New York strip. I wanted those cuts. I didn't want fucking piece of shit cube steak and minute steak. Like it's just literally just like a flat. It's almost like strip steak, but it's even worse than strip steak. It's super lean. Like there's no fat. Strip steak is good because it's got, um, if you tenderize strip steak and you don't have like a bad cut, like if you have a good cut of strip steak, it's got a lot of fat on it, a decent amount, not too much, but that's so good. Like on cart, uh, what carne asada, um, you can make a bunch of stuff with it, but that stuff is so lean. It's literally just straight meat. It's basically like a, um, what do I compare it to? It's like as lean as a round steak, just flattened out. I don't know, but $800, I guess. I mean, each one of those is probably over 10 bucks a, a pound. So maybe I got screwed with it, but whatever. Look at that, boom. I also need honey. So honey and meat, more ground beef too. Cause the ground beef I'm getting from the store, it's good, but could be better. So I'm gonna eat this, go to work and uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip. Look at that bad boy, and look at that bad boy, ribeye. Let's see what is going on. It's actually pretty good ribeye. I've let it sit and rest for a minute, so it should be all uh, juicy in there, perfect. But we're about to see. Oh yeah, it's perfect, of course. I'll show you guys real quick and then I'm gonna dig in. Off camera, of course. Let me show you guys this. Boom. Look at that. That's amazing. It's a nice cut of meat. Let's see how it tastes. That was all fat. That was good. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, hey everyone. Sorry that it's been a while, um, but I am leaving for school tomorrow, so now Tristan can lock this shit in for real and start being more consistent and whatnot. He's literally working right now and it's like 10 p.m. on a Friday night. Like a literal psycho. But I'm going back to school on Sunday, so Tristan and I aren't going to see each other very much. But thank God. He's going to come visit me in a couple weeks, so maybe some content in my apartment gym coming soon. <laughs> but yeah, we stay lit. We had a good ass summer, so to Stop the people. Like that. That's not how you talk. <laughs> to the people uh, that are going back to school. Have a good ass school year. And to the other people, keep fucking working hard, stay hard, and bet on yourself. <laughs> Cause Tristan is betting on myself. So peace y'all. On yourself. Anyone else think these Tristan's glasses are fucking insanely huge? All right, and it created a terrible intro, outro, so I, and you're not gonna be in this, get out of here. 7,000 steps, just under. So that's the day. Um, I'm gonna get some more cart. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. All right, I'll catch you guys on day 186, 187, arm swallow, so. Arms and if I wake up early enough for Muay Thai, so peace.